What is going on people? We are back again with another video and this one right here is regarding Mahogany, someone that was a part of 90 Day Fiance once upon a time with her partner Ben. Now Mahogany has come out with a very um, serious statement on her Instagram about something that has happened to her most recently. Now I do apologize in advance, um, English is not her first language so therefore some lines may not sound as if they make sense but I'm just reading it exactly how she wrote it. She comes in by saying my story time. I became someone different since the show ended. Open my demons and get on my way in his dreams. I found mine almost one month ago. I suffered an overdose that almost killed me. I started taking some pills to rest until work, love, more and uh, more friendships completely stole my time. And I accidentally thought I would sleep happily. I don't remember much of the story, but when I was unconscious, I wanted to be able to live and I couldn't. Listen to, vo listen, listen to Ben's voice, who was on the phone screaming, Mahogany, wake up. Are you breathing? And I woke up. Long journey that was coming to me. I'm a healthy person, but I didn't take the pills. But I didn't think the pills would give me a bad move. Anyway, someone in the, someone in the sense that when almost lost his life, now is grateful to that. Why not thank that this stuff? You know, it is a very, very sad story to hear that, um, you know, she got to a point where she was taking um, pills and she didn't realize that the fact that she was taking these pills, these pills became somewhat of an addiction. And it was something that she was doing unconsciously. And to be honest with you, when people do things that are dangerous unconsciously, that is one of the most dangerous things that can ever happen to anyone in this, in this world. Now, given that it's something particular, someone did put a comment down below, which um, Mahogany then decided to share on her Insta story. And this person in a nutshell goes on to explain how they understand that an addiction is a disease and how your brain is just pre-wired to crave things. So it takes over. And this person also goes on to explain that after they went through a divorce themselves in particular, a doctor did persuade them with some Xanax. You know, and obviously those Xanax became somewhat of an addiction. So this person talking about how she relates to the fact that, you know, taking Xanax or any, I guess, any painkillers, it can easily, you know, become an addiction because it's something that you then end up doing unconsciously. Mahogany leaves, the, leaves the, uh, the story by putting in Xanax is the pill that almost killed me. But wake up with this overdose of Xanax is dangerous. I mean, listen, ladies and gentlemen, the matter of fact is, the key thing to take away from this is that if you are around someone that you see is um, taking any, any type of tablet, you know, any type of painkiller, any tablet that you know that if they do it too much, it could potentially take their life, please try and seek help for that person. I think sometimes we can tell the person, but just because we tell them doesn't mean they're gonna listen. Sometimes maybe it's better to take lead and just seek, seek help for them. I mean, of course, I'd imagine you should talk to them first, hope they listen, but if they don't, then take matters into your own hands. If you're someone that's going through this and you're unaware because you are unconsciously taking pills, hopefully maybe you can wake up one day and look in the mirror and be like, wait, hold on a minute. I realized that I've taken this same tablet the last X amount of time. Why am I doing this? This isn't normally me. Hopefully those times like that are the times where you could then immediately seek help rather than say, okay, I'll seek help later on because late, by the time later on comes, you've already probably rebought that thing again anyway. The matter of fact is, you know, um, please, please do what you can to look after yourselves. Please, please do what you can to bring awareness to the people around you as well. But with that being said, I am glad that uh, Morgan is now in a better place. And, uh, you know, obviously Ben was there to, Help her, well, he was there to at least wake her up. Because a lot of people wouldn't even have that privilege of being woken up. And because of that, some people may actually end up with no life at all. Do better, please, ladies and gentlemen. Try and help others around you. But uh, with that being said, please let me know what you're thinking down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like, sub, of course, peace. Oh.